Good morning. Morning. So we are going on our morning walk. Popeye's barking in the background. Um, but this is the first episode of our morning walk podcast where oh, we yeah. share what we talk about on our morning walks. Um, a lot of inspiration comes from these walks, a lot of ideas, a lot of fun discussions, and we want to share them with you. So yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go on our walk and then we will see you back for the podcast. See ya. Bye. What's up? So this is our first morning podcast. Yeah. Video podcast. 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 Get that. Um, Boom. Maybe this will also be an audio podcast, but we'll figure that out later. <laughs> Stop licking me. Um, if you don't know already, this is Boss. Yes. He will most likely make frequent appearances in these videos because... And as will Popeye. And so will Most Popeye. you know Popeye. Yeah, but Bossy is... My dog from, one of my dogs from growing up. He's 16 years old. Old man. Man. And his mouth is also right near the mic. So. <laughs> oh, yes. You might hear him. <laughs> Every once in a while. Maybe he'll tuck his head that way or something. You know, he's so cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, right. so, wait. Okay. Go ahead. So, as you saw at the beginning of this video we go out on a walk and then we come back here and we talk about what we talked about on our walk yeah so our walks are generally like some of our best moments um together as a couple but also like they're just so good we always talk about really awesome stuff um we realized pretty early on um i feel like maybe in charlotte when we were living in Charlotte, that we started going on walks together, and I was like, it was just such an op awesome opportunity for us to connect, but also, like, we just but, got, would get so amped up about yeah. what we were talking about, and just so motivated, and just, Some like, of our best ideas come yes. from our walks. Yes, we yeah. always, um, going on walks, like, always fuels ideas for us, so we love, love, love taking morning walks. We don't do them every morning, but we try to do them as frequently as possible. Yeah. So we thought that we would create, um, just an opportunity for us to share, um, what we talk we about. Talk about yeah. yeah, without us, like, breathing heavily into the camera or the microphone while we're walking. <laughs> Um, so or, yeah. Yeah. So basically this is just going to be review, like a review of what we chat about on our walk. Yeah. Um, so you don't have to be there for all the mind thought fumbles and yep. all of that. So this morning, what we talked about was yes. stuff that we like to do to, uh, stay positive. Positive reframing. I think that's one of um like our biggest one of our biggest growth points in the past few years was learning how to um, stay in a positive mindset. And it's not foolproof. And that's kind of what yeah. we talked about this morning was like how um, proud we are of where we've come, like or how far we've come in our mindset. Um, so we figured that we would share with you just on the. Popeye. <laughs> so we figured we would share with you on this shorter intro morning podcast our top three things for staying in a positive mindset. All right. Number one. Number one. Gratitude, journaling, or however it looks. Yeah, however it looks for you. Like whether it's journaling or sitting with a cup of coffee on outside or something, or even like taking a moment laying in bed still when you're yeah, before when you, you walk out your bedroom door and there might be other stuff or going before on, you like, close your eyes to go to sleep yeah but taking a moment yeah to just go over some things in your mind or out loud um in your life that you're grateful for yeah if you're a journaler keeping a gratitude journal is a big thing i don't do it consistently um but i love writing down what i'm grateful for because you can come up with a pretty long list. You can go from looking, like, laying down or, like, me being just a nut. Not a nut. Um, you can go from just feeling, like, so overwhelmed with how everything's going wrong to looking at a list of, like, 20-something things that are actually going right in your life and that you're grateful for and that you have. Yeah. Um, and it just flips the script pretty quickly. So yeah. whether you do that in a journal or just when you wake up, before you go to bed, or just randomly throughout the day, starting to incorporate 
that uh, gratitude practice into your life that has helped us and grown us so, so, so majorly because eventually when things go wrong, you just immediately think about all of the things that go right. Yeah. Um, and the things that go wrong just don't really weigh on you as heavily. Yeah. And when you do this enough, you'll get to the point too, where you actually like in the moment of something happening, like I've noticed this recently where like something will happen to me and in that moment I'll realize like, wow, I'm so grateful for that, that that Which just happened. Which leads right? us to our second thing, positive reframing. Yeah. I'm not typically a silver linings person. Like I'm not, um, I'm not the type of person that's going to offer you a silver lining when something shitty happens because I think that you need time to process and maybe grieve or just experience your feelings. <laughs> so I'm not going to be like, oh, something bad happened, but don't you worry, unless I know that you're in the same space that I am where you're reframing like as you go. But after you have experienced the feelings of something negative happening, um, sitting and thinking about how things happen for you and not to you, adopting that mentality of this is for me. Um, like the world's not against you, it's it's for you. Um, and just thinking about how the thing that seems negative on the outside, thinking about how much it's gonna teach you or um, how you'll be better the next time something like this rolls around or whatever, just sitting and taking a moment to reframe the negative experience into how it can be positive in your life um that is yeah so 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 um important and one of our favorite um practices one of my favorite practices to do and like eric was saying it goes hand in hand with the gratitude thing because soon after like it takes a while it's not immediate but once you start practicing um positive reframing you pretty quickly can get into a negative situation and be able to reframe it like on the bat and no it doesn't like once again like (laughs) i think negative things and feeling like the negative impact of something is important um it's important but to be able to recognize how you can be grateful for that situation by putting it into a more positive light is definitely Uh, a really important practice so that you can stay in a positive mindset yeah all right and number three number three and this is so simple it's gonna sound silly but it's very very important and it is to go do something that you like to do go do something Uh, that brings you joy like snuggling with your puppy or your kitty yeah um literally like the more joy that you can inject into your life um even if you can't control everything that probably sounded gross. Uh, <laughs> even if you can't control everything, like even if you're still in a job that you don't enjoy or like life just seems to be knocking you down, like there are opportunities for you to inject joy into your life. And yes. the more that you can do that, even just by like, even just tiny things. Tiny like, things. Like do like little indulgences of like treating yourself to coffee. Like budgets are important, but so is being happy. And if that pumpkin spice latte is going to make you thrive, then thrive on, please. Yeah. There's this cute little coffee shop not far from um, our house. And a lot of times we walk past it and like, I always ask Eric, like what would make you happier? Would, would coffee make you happier or would saving the money make you happier? And the Based answer is on the always day, different. It changes, yeah. Yeah, it's like, you know what? The coffee would make me happy right now. Or it's like, you know what? Saving the 10 bucks would make me happy right now. And I'm like, cool. So it's just like taking those little moments of like, hmm, what's going to make me happy right now? Like, is it going to like buy this new thing or is it going to like save that money? Is it like yeah. watching another episode of Netflix or reading a good book or. Um, Even though in during the work day, like there's times where I am like so into what I'm doing into the editing process or whatever that I will spend like eight hours editing or something but I'll get you know kind of like wrapped up in it and by the end maybe I'll be a little bit frat frizzled or frazzled frizzled (laughs) frizzled (laughs) frazzled or whatnot and uh maybe even you know letting some negativity seep in and Christina will just look at me and say like go do something that you like to do yeah and like go play a video game go like yeah. sit on your phone for 20 minutes looking at instagram like that's not all bad things 
Yeah. Like, just because it makes you happy or, like, isn't, like, the responsible thing to do doesn't mean it's not actually good for you. Yeah. Like, sometimes you need to throw caution to the wind and just, like, have a little fun. Go on a bike ride or go on a run or yes. go on, you know, I'm not saying go on a run if that's, like, something you don't like to do yeah. or think you have to do to be healthy. <laughs> In that moment... In those moments, do something that you actually enjoy. Yeah, doing. and if like not going on the run is going to make you happy, don't go on the run. Yeah. But if going on the run is going to make you happy, go on the run. And um, we talked a lot on that for just for that moment. But um, and one other thing, like you know, do all that kind of stuff randomly. Like when you're when you are starting to feel negative and whatnot in the middle of a day, like take a moment, and go do something you like that brings you joy. But there's also something to scheduling time in your week joy time. that like is a time in your calendar yeah. that you get to go do something that brings you joy. Yeah. I'm and not that's a routine. really changed stuff for us. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a routine person, but if you are, then like knowing that something every Thursday, you're going to do something every Thursday, like brings you joy. That's awesome. Yeah. I, actually blocking out time in your schedule and having that to look forward to. And sometimes like, we have to block Eric's schedule because he packs it so full that I'm like, hey, like have to schedule time for him to breathe. But me, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I did some work. Oh, let's go have some fun. Oh, I did some work. Let's go have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> Not like work is like fun, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay, so cool. those are our top three. Th- That's our top um, three things. Those are our top three practices for staying in a positive mindset. This was our morning walk vodcast one. Um, let us know if you like it. We're going to keep doing them. So, <laughs> just kidding. Um, so let us know what you think and let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about. Um, yeah. We, yeah, um, we are planning on releasing them every Monday. So stay tuned for next week. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.